now it's time for some calculus. Under F3 says calc for the calculus menu. This calculator will do differentiation, integration, limits, summation, or pro products, whatever we need it to do. And the best part is it'll do it symbolically. Today I'm going to show you how to do to differentiate, integrate, and how to use the limit. Under differentiate, just click one and choose it, just like usual. We're going to do something simple of x squared with respect to x. You need to put a comma in the variable you're integrating over. Enter. And it even shows us in the nice notation d dx of x squared to x. If I didn't put x in there, say I put y, it would just be zero because it treats x squared as if it were a constant and the derivative of x squared with respect to y is zero. Now if I want to do something crazy, I'll even do product rules and quotient rules. I'm going to do x times 89 times e to the alpha oh, second sine of x. Enter. Forgot my comma x. Complicated, but it does it for me absolutely no problem within half a second. This will actually integrate. It'll do definite and indefinite integrals. If I go to integrate, oh, actually, one more thing with the uh, derivatives. If you go to derivatives, and I want to do sine, derivative of sine, with respect to x, but I want it to go to the third derivative. If you type in 3, comma 3, parenthesis, it gives me the third derivative of sine, which is negative cosine. If I wanted to take 99th, which should be the same thing, take the 99th derivative of sine with respect to x, negative cosine. And this will work with any function. Now, if I go to integrate, I want to integrate sine x with respect to x, no bounds, just indefinite, enter negative cosine. Same as before, if I wanted to put the 99th derivative, I can get into bounds in the same way. Comma, upper bound, which is going to be pi over 2. Comma, lower bound, I'm going to make this 3 pi over 6. Integrates from, sorry, it's lower bound than upper bound. So we go from lower bound to upper bound, so it gives, goes from 3 pi over 6, pi over 2, excuse me, 0. Now if I take another one, I want to just do a simple x squared. Integrate, which is number 2. x squared, comma, with respect to x. And I want to go from 1 to 3. 6 over 3. And if I want to just know the, the antiderivative of x squared, just hit enter, gives me the symbolic terms. The last part in calculus I'm going to show you today is the limit. This calculator is awesome. It also does limits for you, even symbolically. I want to know the derivative, or sorry, the limit of x squared as it approaches. Oh, actually, you need to put the function, what variable, and then as that variable approaches what? Say 8. This is a simple limit. Plug in 8. 8 squared gives me 64. Now, if I want to do something more complicated, such as sine of x, I want to know what happens as it approaches 8. This gives me sine 8. Yellow, enter. Gives me approximate number. Sine of 8 is approximately 0.989. One thing you have to worry about with sine is under mode, you have to watch if your angle is in radians or degrees. This one is in radians. Just then you can always change that. We go back, which is escape, not clear. 
you can also change how many decimal points it wants to show you. Float 3, hit the right arrow, and you can change it all the way to 12. Hit enter, enter. So I want to know the approximate value of this limit. Goes out to 12 digits.